pen tablets for drawing and even photo editing? In this video, I'll give you my thoughts on a pen tablet, the Huion Canvas 16 Gen 3. It's a 2K monitor that you can draw on with a specialized pen that senses pressure levels. It's also got two scroll wheels with center press buttons and six additional buttons. All of these buttons can be configured with the Huion software. Not only is it possible to map the buttons to any keyboard shortcut, mouse press, or text input, but it also has support for native functions in various popular programs. Anyway, you can also get an optional stand with it that I recommend because then you don't have to look at the monitor flat on your desk. The stand is pretty good with a solid rubbery non-slip surface, but I do wish it had a locking clamp to truly lock the Canvas 16 on the stand. Drawing. Why don't we check it out in action? The Canvas 16 Gen 3 is great because it's 15.8 inches, so you can see your entire drawing on screen. The screen is also adjusted to have a slightly lower contrast than typical monitors, so that it's easier to look at the monitor up close. But the best part about the Canvas 16 Gen 3 is the pressure sensitivity. It's got 16,384 levels of pressure sensitivity, so it can capture a lot of subtlety with the pressure-sensitive pen. Using the pen to draw feels natural, and the pressure activation levels can also be customized using the included software. And don't forget that the pen also has three buttons on the side. Overall, if you're interested in digital drawing, I'd say that the Canvas 16 Gen 3 is a step up from entry-level drawing tablets, and it should be more than enough for most people. Photo Editing The Canvas 16 Gen 3 can also be used for photo editing. That's my specialty, so I decided to edit a few photos with it. My key finding is that a pen tablet is useful for photo editing if you draw a lot of masks and want to vary the mask opacity with the pen. This can help you achieve more natural effects when you want fall-off sharpening or need to reduce contrast in backgrounds, for example. Personally, I liked it since I do use a lot of masks. It allows you to get closer to your photo, and it encourages a more deliberate approach since the monitor is tuned for close use. It feels very different than using a computer. Screen measurements. Screen uniformity is how uniform the brightness and color temperature is across the screen. I measured the screen uniformity using the Calibrate Display Pro HL, and here are the results. There is some non-uniformity, the strongest being in the top left corner of the screen, which was very slightly noticeable. However, these results are pretty mild. For comparison, here is the same measurement taken on a MacBook Air M1 laptop, which has a pretty decent but not outstanding screen. Here is a graph comparing them both, with larger numbers being worse. We can see here that the Canvas 16 Gen 3, which is shown in blue, is a much better screen in terms of brightness uniformity than the MacBook Air M1 shown in red. And to my eye, it looks pretty good. Now, what about color spaces? I profiled the screen again using the Calibrate Display Pro HL. The blue triangle is the achieved space with the profile generated by the Calibrate device. And the green is sRGB space. You can see that in some places it's slightly larger than sRGB, but there's a very slight gap not covered. And as we can see, quite a lot of the Adobe RGB space, indicated in red, is covered as well. This justifies Huion's claim that the monitor does indeed cover 99% of sRGB and 90% of Adobe RGB. Finally, I'll mention that every Canvas 16 Gen 3 comes factory calibrated with a calibration report, so it should have pretty decent colors out of the box. Pro Models The main thing is that some of the newer Pro models, like the more advanced Canvas 24 Pro, have wider color gamuts and more advanced displays, especially with the 24 Pro Gen 3, which has 4K, multi-touch, and 99% Adobe RGB coverage. 
Of course, the 24 Pro Gen 3 does cost about 1400 US dollars, so if you need that one, I think you already know that you do. My opinion is that the Canvas 16 Gen 3 is the sweet spot for most intermediate and advanced artists that need a mid-sized pen display. Conclusion My overall feeling about the Canvas 16 Gen 3 is that it's a very solid product. I've tried more basic pen tablets before, and this one is clearly more refined and meant for more advanced artists. Its main use case is of course drawing, and in that case, I think it can provide endless hours of fun. When it comes to photography, you might like it a lot if you happen to do a lot of local editing, or you combine your photography with illustration. That's it. I hope you enjoyed this review, and I'll see you again next time.